Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week and I have some awesome announcements this week including the launch of a new IO optimized EC2 instance type, the announcement of the S3 path deprecation plan, there is a new user password reset API for Amazon Cognito, you can now create EC2 on demand capacity reservations with CloudFormation and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me Faye Ellis. There is a new IO optimized EC2 instance type and it's called i3EN and it is the largest NVMe based SSD storage instance available offering up to 60 terabytes of low latency SSD storage and delivering up to 2 million IOPS and these instances are going to be perfect for data intensive workloads so things like search engines, data warehouses, NoSQL databases and any applications which have a requirement for really high IO. From September 2020, S3 will no longer support the path style URIs for accessing S3 objects. So currently there are two different request URI styles or addressing models supported for accessing S3 objects. And the first is known as the path style and it uses the bucket name in the path. For example, s3.amazonaws.com forward slash followed by the bucket name. And the second is known as the virtual hosted style where the bucket name is used right at the very beginning of the URI, for example, mybucket.s3.amazonaws.com. So from September 2020, only the virtual hosted style is going to be allowed. And the reason for this is that with the virtual hosted URI, the DNS subdomain is specific to the name of your bucket, which is much more scalable. And also this decentralized model is also gonna be easier to protect from a security perspective. So what do you need to do? Well, you're going to need to identify any applications which are using the path style addressing and update your application to use the virtual hosted style. And the easiest way to do that is check your S3 access logs and also CloudTrail data events. There is a new user password reset capability for Amazon Cognito. And if you've not used Cognito before, it's a service which allows you to really easily add sign up and sign in functionality to your web applications and it supports federated login with external providers like Facebook, Amazon.com and Google. And this new feature allows administrators to reset passwords or set temporary or permanent passwords for users, even when their verified phone or email is unavailable. You can now create EC2 on-demand capacity reservations with CloudFormation. And if you've not used capacity reservations before, they're perfect for those times when you have very specific requirements around instance type, size, and availability zone. And you need that assurance that you will definitely be able to launch the instance of your choice whenever you want and for as long as you need. And this is a great announcement because you can now completely automate the creation of capacity reservations using CloudFormation templates. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was C. And it was quite a tricky question this week because only one person got the correct answer. And that person is Louise Gallardo. And I hope I said your name correctly. And Louise is a solutions architect working at Edrans in Argentina. So congratulations to Louise. There is a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker and hand signed card on their way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2019. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time. Bye.